How to use EFT to work with depression. Depression actually shows up in different ways for different people. So what you need to do is work out how am I experiencing depression. The first thing to check is how do I feel depression in my body? Perhaps you feel a heaviness in your shoulders and neck or a tightness in your breath or chest. These will be the first places to start to apply the tapping. Let me give you an example of how you might use the tapping to set up a phrase around tightness in the chest, for instance. Even though I have this tightness in my chest, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Repeated three times. Even though I have this tightness in my chest, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this tightness in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. And then repeating the phrase tightness in my chest whilst tapping the sequence points. Tightness in my chest. This tightness in my chest. This tightness in my chest. I feel this tightness in my chest. This tightness in my chest. This tightness in my chest. Tightness in my chest. Finishing up at the top of the head point. This tightness in my chest. Then when you've done one round, evaluate how intense the feelings are. You should have evaluated at the beginning point on a 0 to 10 scale so that you can check before and after the intensity of the feelings. Scan your body to see what else you can apply the tapping to. Other examples would be this tension in my neck. Tapping this tension in my neck or perhaps it's a feeling of nervousness in your stomach so again it would be even though I have this nervousness in my stomach I deeply and completely accept myself the trick is to work out how are you feeling the physical symptoms that go with depression for yourself and then create setup phrases and apply the tapping assessing the intensity before and after the tapping when you've cleared some of that kind of physical, perhaps heaviness, heaviness might be a good word to incorporate into your tapping, when you've cleared some of that, it's often easier to get at the emotions that are underlying the physical feelings. So ask yourself, what exactly am I feeling? Is it sadness? Perhaps the word heaviness is the most descriptive for me right at the moment. And then again, set up statements which incorporate how you're feeling at this particular moment in time. For example, even though I feel this sadness right now, I deeply and completely accept myself. Repeating the setup three times and then taking the statement, this sadness, and continuing to tap the points, finishing up on the head point with this sadness. Then the third thing that you can do for yourself quite easily with EFT is to think about all the specific events that are happening around you that are causing you to feel uncomfortable feelings at this particular moment in time. So perhaps you have some uncomfortable situations in your work environment or in your relationships. The way to work with these is to construct a kind of mini movie in your mind of an experience that, that you have had and then to tap through all the feelings and aspects that go with that particular mini-movie that represents something that has been happening in your life recently. Then, when you begin to feel a little bit better, a little bit clearer about the things that are happening currently in your life, the next step is to make a list of all the past events that still trouble you in some way today, just as we described in the movie technique section and also the personal peace process section. In that way, you can systematically work through all the past events in your life, just maybe taking one or possibly two a day, and over a period of time, maybe over a period of two weeks or, or a month, having released the negative charge that's been held in your system from some time ago, you'll experience feelings of well-being on an emotional and physical level. Simply by taking 
maybe 10 minutes a day to work through one or two of the memories that are held in your system today and are affecting your today from things that happened in the past.